I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you another question from my subscriber. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for taking keen interest, posting questions and making this channel extremely useful. The question here is, find the coordinate of the point Q in a right triangle PQR where point P has coordinates 0, 7 and point R has coordinates 12, 4. Point Q lies on x-axis and the angle PQR is a right angle. So let us first sketch and then we'll try to figure the solution. So we have a point 0, 7. Let's say that's the point somewhere on the y-axis, 0, 7. So this is the point P for us. We are given R as 12 and 4 value. So this is 0, 7. Let's say some point here is 12 and 4. Okay. So this is the point which is uh, 12 and 4. We'll call this as R. Q lies on the x-axis and angle PQR is a right angle. So, so we're looking for a right angle here. So, okay. So let me just sketch kind of like this and say that this is the right angle which we are looking for point Q. So this is the right angle. We need to find coordinates of point Q. So there are different ways to find this out. Point P is, we can call this as 0, 7. Now since there is a right angle at PQR, we know slope of PQ times slope of QR should be equal to minus 1, right? since they are perpendicular. Perfect. So that becomes an equation which can be solved for Q. Since it is on the x-axis, coordinates of Q could be, let's say, a comma 0. So y value is 0. Now it is simple. So what is the slope of PQ? slope of PQ will be rise over run. So we can say 7 minus 0 over 0 minus A or 7 over A with a negative sign. Slope of QR will be, let's say, 4 minus 0 divided by 12 minus A, which is 4 over 12 minus A. Now their product should be negative 1. So we can write this as minus 7 over A times 4 over 12 minus A should be equal to negative 1. Perfect. We can now cross multiply and solve. So we have minus 28 equals to A times 12 minus A with a negative sign. So these two negative, they cancel. We can open this bracket. So we have 28 equals to 12a plus a square. Right, so now we can actually solve this equation. Let's take it to the right side to solve it further. Uh, this should be minus a square, I'm sorry. So when you multiply, we cancel this first. Let's do it. So we'll first cancel these negative signs. So when you multiply with a, you get 12a minus a square, right? So let's solve this equation. Bringing all to the left side, we get a square minus 12a plus 28 equals to 0. Now we need product of plus 28, sum of minus 12. So we don't get any combination. Let's use the quadratic formula. A will be equal to minus B, which is 
minus of minus 12 plus minus square root of minus 12 square minus 4ac that means 4 times 28 correct divided by 2 times 1 so that is the value we use the quadratic formula here so if the equation is ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 then x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a so we, we have used this equation here I mean roots of the equation to find the solution so we get a equals to 12 plus minus square root of 144 minus 28 times 4 8 times 4 32 3 112 divided by 2 so that gives us 12 plus minus square root of 32 divided by 2 so this is 12 plus minus 32 is 16 times 2 we could write this as 4 square root 2 over 2 now dividing by 2 you get your solution which is 6 plus minus 2 square root 2 so that is the solution so the coordinates of point Q could be 6 plus minus so there could be two values 2 square root 2 comma 0 perfect so that is how we could actually solve this question. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.